Hello friends, welcome to yet another video from Textbot. This time we will show you how to make a temperature monitoring alarm using Arduino Uno. This project has great importance in many industries to monitor the temperature and to trigger some specific actions like turn on the exhaust fan, open the emergency exit, notify the users through SMS or push notification, turn on the sprinkler and much more. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before we move forward, we would like to thank Seed Studio for sending this kit. This kit is based on Arduino Uno compatible board named Seeduino Lotus. The Arduino Uno is one of the most common Arduino boards available for beginners because of its user-friendly nature in both hardware and programming areas. The Arduino Groove Beginner Kit makes Arduino more user-friendly by providing 10 essential sensors all in one kit. No breadboard no soldering and even no wiring is needed. Their website has a great tutorial about the usage of this kit with 10 different programs about each sensors. So even a person has zero knowledge about Arduino can learn this independently. We strongly recommend this product for beginners who wants to get familiar with Arduino. Buying links are there in the description. Let's understand the working principle of this project. The temperature sensor will send the temperature and humidity values to the Arduino and the values will be displayed on the OLED display. When the temperature reaches beyond the threshold, Arduino will trigger both LED and buzzer which will be used to notify the user. OLED display will warn the user about the rise in temperature by displaying the warning icon. Now let's understand little bit about the sensors used for this project. We have provided buying links for each of these components in the description if you would like to create the circuit by year on without using this kit. If you prefer to use these modules elsewhere, then you can simply break the modules out from the kit. All these sensors are compatible with both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. The first module is Group Temperature and Humidity Sensor. DHT11 Temperature and Humidity Sensor provides a pre-calibrated digital output. A unique capacitor sensor element measures relative humidity and the temperature is measured by a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. The second one is Groove OLED Display. The Groove OLED display is a 0.96 inch, 128 into 64 pixels passive display matrix module with Groove I2C interface. The third one is the Groove LED. This sensor has got a red LED and a potentiometer on board to manage the power requirement of the LED. The fourth and last one is the Groove Buzzer. The Groove Buzzer module has a piezo buzzer as the main component. The piezo buzzer can be connected to the digital outputs and will emit a tone when the output is high. Alternatively, it can be connected to an analog pulse fit modulation output to generate various tones and effects. You can find the corresponding Arduino pin details of each component on the board itself. Please refer this circuit diagram if anyone wants to implement this project without using the kit. Now let's move to the Arduino program for this project. Let's understand how these codes work. So we have used some libraries in this program. So the first one is for our OLED display and the second one that is the wire.h library is for establishing the connection between Arduino Uno and the OLED display using I2C communication and the last one is for the temperature sensor. You can download these libraries from the below links and you can add it to your Arduino program by going to sketch, include library and add zip libraries. The bitmap what we have added here will be used for uh, displaying some custom characters on the OLED display. Uh, so this one is uh, for a temperature icon. This is for the humidity and this one is for our Texabot logo. If you drag little more down, you will be able to see the um, warning symbol icon as well. So this is the bitmap used for that. 
so here we have done the declaration part for all the pins that has been used for Arduino and this is our uh, code to initialize the OLED display and if you drag little more down here you could see the uh, code to initialize our DHT sensor and we have set the buzzer frequencies to 1020 Hz and we have created some variables for storing the temperature and humidity here and the temperature threshold what we set here as 35 if you would like to change you can change this value as well uh, you could see uh, we have initialized the DHT sensor and we have declared the uh, LED as well as buzzer as an output device and we have turned off the buzzer as well and here we have uh, initialized the OLED display and uh, we have called the text about icon at the time of startup so it will be shown here and when it comes to the loops it will be keep on checking the current temperature and whenever it's less than the uh, threshold value what we said it will be executing this loop which will be continuously displaying the temperature as well as humidity on the OLED display and whenever the temperature value crosses the threshold value it will be executing this loop and uh, it will be notifying the user through a buzzer as well as the LED also a warning symbol about the rising temperature will be displayed on the uh, OLED screen so all the custom functions for uh, displaying the uh, you know different uh, values has been declared here so this is what uh, we have uh, you know done on the programming section connect cd you know, to your computer using the usb cable and upload the code shown here we have added comments in the program for better understanding of each code we have also added links to watch arduino ide installation for windows and ubuntu in the description this will help you understand more about arduino if you are using it for the first time now let's test the project we have added our logo to look the project more professional. Now on the OLED screen you could see the temperature and humidity. Let's increase the temperature by keeping the lighter close to DHT11 temperature sensor. You could see the temperature and humidity is increasing slowly. So after the temperature reaches beyond 35 degrees Celsius, you could see that Arduino has triggered both LED and buzzer. Also a critical temperature warning symbol has been appeared on the screen. Now let's wait for some time to get the temperature back to normal. Now you could see that the alarm has stopped and the warning symbol is no more displayed on the OLED screen. We hope that you have enjoyed the project. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new here and we would like to thank you once again for watching this video.